What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Epic Games Launcher is having slow download speed and how we can fix this app. First one, just go over here, search for the run command and you have to click on this one. And right now go over here, type percentage local app data percentage and go for OK. And right now we need to scroll down and navigate to Epic Games Launcher. Open this. Now from here navigate to save it. Now from here navigate to folder named config. Now from here we have to navigate to the folder named windows. Now from here you can see there is a folder named most probably you'll be able to find a folder named engine over here. So right now open this and right now you can see this is actually completely blank. So what we need to do is I'll have I'll be giving a command in the video description that is this particular command. So just copy this from the video description and get into the folder of engine.ei, engine.i, go over here and paste this command and you have to save it. Now save this particular one, just go over here at the top and you have to save it. Now close this over here and you have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, just go over here in the task manager, search for the task manager and click on this one and directly navigate to expand this up and go over here in the details. Now from here, if you find the Epic Games launcher, most probably you'll be able to find it. So right now it is here, right click on this one and go for set priority and set the priority into high. That's going to ask the priority, change priority and this will be high. Now we need to close this and you have to check. Next one is all about just go over here, search for the control panel and you have to click on this one. And right now go for the network and internet and go for network and sharing center. And right now go for the change adapter settings. Now from here right click on the Wi-Fi, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here click on the internet protocol version slab over here, go over here. Now we need to set the value. So the first one is 8888, eight, eight, eight. go for 8, 8 and 4 and we have to go for 4. That's what you have to try as the value 8888, 884 and 4. That is the value should be given. Now go for OK. Once afterwards, the DNS server is changed and now we need to check with the Epic Games. Still, if you're having the trouble, just go over here, search for the device manager and click on this one. And right now, go over here on the adapters, go to the network adapters, right click on the adapter, right click, go for update driver and go for search automatically for drivers and you have to check for the driver. So over here you have to check whether you have selected the right one, right click on this one and go for the update, search automatically for drivers and make sure it is up to date. So after the driver is up to date, still if you have the trouble we can try two step. One is we need to disconnect the VPN if it's connected. So just go over here in the settings, click over here and directly navigate to the uh, network and internet. Now from here go to the VPN, make sure the VPN is disconnected, that's an important one. So VPN should be disconnected and that's what we have to try. Still, if you're having the trouble, just close this and we need to move to the next one. That is all about just go over here, search for the control panel and you have to click on this one. And right now, navigate to the system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down, make sure the Epic Games is added here. So if you don't find the Epic Games, just close everything over here. Go to the Epic Games Launcher, right click, click on the open file location. Now from here, copy the location of the Epic Games Launcher, close this, go back to the control panel, click over here on the details, change settings, go for allow another app, navigate to the browse. Now remove this, over here you can just remove this at the top, remove this and paste this and you have to press enter. And right now go over here and open this and we have to add it. Once it's successfully added, what we need to do is you can see if you successfully added the Epic Games Launcher, if you go over here you can see the Epic Games Launcher is successfully added. So once the Epic Games Launcher is successfully added, we just need to make sure that you put a check on both the boxes over here for the private and public. These are the steps and afterwards just get into the Epic Games Launcher and you can check. Most probably you'll not be having the trouble with the downloading and I hope this video is helpful. That's what it is. See you soon in the next video. Bye.